All right, so in this video, I am going to be working on a project that I talked about in a previous mailbag video. But essentially what I wanna do is have a little box that'll have an XT60 connector input and an XT60 connector output. And what I wanna be able to do with it is just be able to stick it into this multimeter here. And I'll be able to measure the current and the voltage going through the XT60 connectors. So kind of the plan of this is just to have a box with all the wiring on it that has these three banana jacks. And then I'm going to make little male to male banana jacks that are like this kind of. And I'll be able to go between this meter, kind of like that, and then just set that box down on top of it. And that will allow it to be a little bit more versatile uh, as compared to just putting these straight into the box because that way there I can unplug the box. I can put a shorting jack between the, uh, the amps and the common and then that way I don't have to have the meter on it. Or I can use other multimeters with it as well. So I'm just going to do it this way. Also it'll allow me to be able to inject voltage and current with the banana jacks if I want to or measure it with something else. So the first thing I need to do is figure out how everything needs to be wired up and then I will wire everything up with the banana jacks, test it, make the, the adapters for this and then eventually we're going to uh, 3D print the casing for it. So first off we'll figure out what we need to do with wiring. So on this meter what we have is the volts jack, the amps jack, and a common jack. And between the amps and the common is going to be the current shunt resistor. So essentially what we need to do is have our XT60s. We'll have our input and our output over here. And we're probably going to end up having to measure the the amperage on the low side, so our negative side of the XT60s. So, I should have actually drawn out and in on the other side, but that'll be okay, I think. So the input of the one of the XT60s is gonna have to go straight into the common. So that'll go there, and then the output, this will be the, uh, the minus, and this will be the minus on this one. And the output's gotta get wired into the amp jack. So our current's gonna flow through that. So that should, I think, give us a positive voltage reading because we'll be cur pushing current that way. And then on the voltage side, our positive side, essentially we're just going to have a straight run from one XT60 connected to the other and we're gonna tap off a line somewhere and run that into the volt jack. So that's gonna be the positive on both of these. So that should be the basic wiring. We can go ahead and test that before we uh, actually start soldering stuff, but I'm pretty sure that's what we're going to need here. All right, so I've got this wired up the way that I said I was gonna wire it up. We'll go ahead and hook up the voltage wire only right now, and if I turn that on, we should get five volts or so. Yep, voltage DC. Five volts going through it, and if I hook up this other wire, we should get a current measurement. And there we go, two amps at uh, about 0.8 volts there. So that is the way that it needs to be wired up, and that's what I'm gonna follow when I hook this up with the uh, XT60s. All right, so in order to do this, I've got the two XT60 connectors. This will be the input one, this will be the output one. Three banana jacks there, and then I have a piece of 14 gauge wire that I'm just gonna use to connect all this stuff together. Hopefully I'm not gonna need too much more wire than this. I'm gonna try to make everything as small as possible because when I get done with this, I don't want the box to be too much bigger than the meter. So anyway, we'll go ahead and get this put together.
All right, so that's pretty much everything put together. Hopefully when I actually get this uh, properly built, these uh, these male-to-male -male banana connectors are gonna be straight enough to the point where the tolerances aren't uh, too bad on these. But uh, anyway, these do just go right in here and they actually look somewhat professionally done. Um, <laughs> they turned out kind of better than I expected. Nice uh, little plastic sleeve here to grip onto. Then of course you can shove another uh, banana plug into that if you wanted to uh, tap off measurements or whatever. So that'll go in like that if needed. But uh, anyway, that goes straight into there. This goes on here. And that should be good enough to test this thing and make sure that it works. So I'm going to go ahead and grab something with XC60 connectors on it. So we'll just go ahead and put this set of alligator clips in line with this. And we'll grab the uh, monitoring device here. And if I turn that on, I should get a voltage measurement. Yep, 5 volts. And if I short the end out, we should see about 2 amps. Actually, it looks like our current right now is negative with the way that this is set up. So, let's see, I may have done this wrong. The end should go, yes, I have done this wrong. And that's why I wanted to test that first. So we're just going to take that nut off. I'm going to take this nut off of here. And this is going to get moved over to here. So what happens when you don't follow your own wiring diagrams. All right, so now we should have the uh, correct polarity on the current here. If I go ahead and short out the uh, leads. Yep, 1.999 amps at 0.2 volts. So that seems to be working just fine. All I've got to do now is get an enclosure for it. Alrighty, so our little box has finished printing here. Came out pretty good. Top half and the bottom half actually fit together pretty tightly there. And then the spacing for these XT60 connectors seems to be uh, pretty much perfect. Because if I go ahead and slide one of these in here, it kind of pops right into place and holds it fairly firmly. Of course, I'm gonna have to glue these in, but I can just push those back in there like that, put a little bit of glue on them, and that should actually work out quite nicely. But the first thing to do is to go ahead and hook up the uh, banana jacks to the front of this thing. So we're gonna do that, take the nut off, figure out where we're going to need to put everything. So, sure our voltage sense line is that one. All right, so here is our finished device. It came out relatively nicely. I got a little bit too much glue when I uh, put the two halves together, unfortunately, but the uh, XT60 connectors are in on the sides. We've got our banana jacks on the top here, and then our Mushi meter. And then these little guys will just go in volt jack, the amp jack, and then the common jack. And then this will go right over top of all three. It actually lines up really nicely, just like so. I'll move this over here, voltage and current readings. And then we can take power coming in 
that should give us a voltage reading. There we go, 24 volts. And we can also, of course, come on the other side and put our load, whatever that might be. And you see we're drawing uh, about, what, 18, 18 milliamps, 24 volts there. That gives us our power down there as well. And there we go, we are measuring both voltage and current. As you can see, it does add quite a bit of height to the meter. I wish it was a little bit shorter, uh, but it should be just fine. Uh, also, you can still swivel these while it's hooked up. And if you want to, you can take another set of banana leads like this and hook on to these leads and tap out another voltage measurement, or you can actually inject voltage into it at that point if you wanted to. So overall, I think that turned out quite nicely. It should be quite a bit better than running the uh, leads for the meter all over the place. And it's versatile, so if I wanted to, I could take this off. I could put a shorting block in here if I didn't want to have the uh, meter running on it constantly. Or I could go ahead and you know hook up another meter, a different one, with uh, banana jacks. But anyway, that should make a actually pretty useful little tool for this meter. So uh, hopefully you guys found that interesting, and I'll see you next video, guys. Bye.